This training video will demonstrate the methods used at Menlo Park Fire District to establish a draft from a static or dynamic water source. Assess the situation. The first item to consider when setting up to draft out of a water source is to evaluate the fire conditions and identify a suitable water source nearby. The source should have sufficient depth to provide a continuous water supply and be accessible for the fire engine. The water supply should ideally be at least four feet deep, which can be obtained in a dynamic water supply. In the case of utilizing a porto tank as a static water source, keep in mind ingress, egress to maximize efficiency in water shuttle operations. Prepare the engine. Ensure the fire engine is properly maintained and equipped with the necessary tools, hoses, and drafting equipment. Conduct a pre-operation check to verify everything is in working order. Safety precautions. As with any firefighting operation, establish a safe area for operating the fire engine. Identify escape routes as needed and ensure all personnel involved are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment. Establishing a draft. Position the fire engine. Park the fire engine in a location that allows easy access to static or dynamic water sources. The vehicle should be on a level surface and positioned in such a way that the suction hose can reach the water source without straining. Engage the parking brake. Complete a pre-operation check of every single discharge port to confirm each individual port is sealed appropriately. Verify seals are in place and connect the suction hose to the intake of the engine. Confirm secure connection. Attach strainer. On the opposite side of the suction hose, attach a strainer if not already attached. The strainer prevents debris and large objects from entering the pump, which could damage the impeller. Secure the suction hose. Using utility rope, 30 foot minimum, secure the suction hose using a clove hitch at the base of the strainer and two half hitches farther up the hose and secure the rope to a stable anchor. Lower the strainer. Submerge the strainer into the water source fully. Ensure it is positioned in the deepest part of the water body to maximize the available water. In a static water source, the deepest portion will be easily identifiable. In a dynamic water source, a temporary dam may be established by using tarp, plastic, or other material found in your environment. When building a temporary dam, plan the dam's design to ensure it can withstand the water's force and maintain stability during the operation. To minimize water loss through seepage, consider placing a tarp or plastic sheet on the downstream side and anchor it securely to the ground to hold back the water. Strainer must be fully submerged in water to secure a draft. Consider placing a shovel or flat tool under the strainer to decrease mud and small debris from entering the strainer. Start the engine and place engine into pump. Place pump into RPM mode. Increase RPMs to no more than 1200. Prime the pump. On the pump panel, locate the priming valve and open it to allow air to escape. Continue priming the pump for a maximum of 45 seconds. Water will be able to be visualized moving up the hard suction hose towards the pump during the priming process. An obvious audible change will be heard upon water entering the eye of the pump and PDP will increase once a successful draft is established. Once a draft is successfully established, open the tank recirculation valve to ensure that the draft is not lost. The goal is to keep water recirculating throughout the pump. The recirculation valve may remain open or cracked until a hose line is ready to be charged. Monitor water level. Continuously monitor your water level in the water source. Portable tank water source. In cases where a porto tank is being utilized as a water source, attach a small diameter hose back into the drafting source if attack lines aren't flowing continuously. Place a floating object in smaller static sources, empty water bottle, tennis ball, to stop the whirlpool effect that occurs. Maintain a draft. The fire engine will maintain a constant flow of water from the source as long as the hard suction remains submerged. If the water level drops below the strainer, the pump will start drawing air, causing the flow to stop. In such cases, reposition the strainer to a deeper area or find an alternate water source. Thank you for watching. This concludes our review of drafting.